Well, well, well. Welcome to the Architects of Fate streaming extravaganza. That's right. You found the self-proclaimed original Twitch TTRPG stream that lets you shake up our world. Now pay attention because this is how it works. If you'd like to add some loops to this roller coaster ride of the show, you're gonna need fake chips. Now these magical loyalty points can be earned just by watching, following, posting, subscribing, or just engaging with us in the chat. It's like free money, Pete. With your fate chips, you can use your powers as an architect to heal your favorite players, summon items that will make their adventure a lot easier, or a lot harder. You can even make players say or sing outrageously silly things. Think of those possibilities. But, but wait, wait, wait. There is more. You can also toss our unsuspecting heroes into random encounters that will leave them sweating, strategizing, and questioning their life choices. All it takes is a quick redeem command in the chat. You choose the item or action and the player you want to mess with, and we'll take it from there. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a mind-blowing spectacle of storytelling and mayhem. We've got adventure. We've got drama and more surprises than a clown car at a kid's birthday party. So let's go! You know what it is, really. They, they got it. <laughs> oh, there, there we All go. right, let's go. try that again. Okay, four, three, two, one, you. Hello, and welcome back to Architects of Fate. Tonight, we will be continuing our adventure through Tomb of Annihilate. You guys have heard this before, you know it. But we will be continuing our adventure through Tomb of Annihilation an adventure module for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. We are joined by Pwn Donkeys playing Aladdin the Yanti Warlock. Hey, I ruined the sound and my lighting. <laughs> two for two, baby. Felix as Scrod, the human barbarian. We have Keyblader as the Cure, the goblin artificer. Uh, we have Jeff playing Kenneth Noisewater, the Halfling Monk. Hello. Not too shabby playing Giger Bruise, the Human Ranger slash Wizard. Nothing ever goes wrong here. And to mitigate the will of the fates, that's all of you. I am DM Dave. No, not that one. And to get us back up to speed on last week's misadventures, we have another edition of Letters to Lenny from Scrod. So, Scrod, please take us away. My dearest Lenny, we are going further into the tomb in hopes of finding a cure to the death curse. And everyone seems to have gone their way. And surprisingly, it's not the disaster you'd expect it to be. But I do, however, think we have tried the patience of some mysterious god who is suffering from patterned baldness. Jaeger found something that made him into like a giant titan and then found someone his own size to pick on. But sadly, this friend, like many, didn't last long. And Kenneth even found another chatty friend called uh, Yaka. And uh, we're just going to go with the phrase Yaka, Yaka, Yaka. And I suspect that she'll be hearing drum snares a lot. Uh, the cure found a library with some weird hands, which got a little bit... Uh, I'm going to have to write to HR about where those hands went. Anyway, uh, Al found an interesting zombie bird, and uh, he's going to get him as a pet for his friend Abu. And uh, we also met this slim guy who uh, is called Mr. Wizard. 
Wizards. Wizards. Mr. Wizards. Mr. Wizard is so good. Mr. Wizards. And after a little bit of chiropractic, uh, thanks to my uh, annex courses, he came up to uh, told us about some of the tomb. And also, uh, I may have accidentally spilled the beans on uh, Maxillary and her brother wanting to return and take over. Uh, because after that, uh, he took a fist side smooth stone and needed to leave in a hurry. So either I had a better effect on him as a masseur, or he heard something he really didn't like. And, uh, and I think that might be where we're at. So please take care. I'm sorry to hear about Cheryl and Carol. It'll be okay. Scrod. And as Scrod looks around for a body of water where he can plunk this message in where it will surely get to Lenny. Surely, right? Uh, we go back down to the third level of the tomb uh, where Jaeger is, or sh where Shrek is still trying in vain to help Jaeger with his newfound uh, aggression. Uh, he is holding his two big meaty hands up as uh, punching bags for Jaeger. But as far as I remember, Jaeger, you showed no signs of stopping. No, in fact, I, I think after enough time, I'll probably get a little bit more aggressive and, and accidentally hit him in the face. All right, make a... Uh, Make an attack on Shrek. All right. Uh, Does not have much AC, huh? <laughs> uh, where's my unarmed strike? He's there just a big story, boy. Oh, not 20. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, you could kill our NPC. Uh, while we're doing this group <clears throat> first, uh, I've, oh. I've got something to do, so I'll, I'll be back. Okay, perfect. Um... All right, you... <laughs> uh, okay, this, this, this might not be too bad. Um, first of all, you do your... Uh, you do your unarmed strike rage damage, which is a d12 plus So that's 11. All right, 11 points of damage to Shrek. Uh, Kenneth and, and Jaeger, you both hear a sharp crack uh, as his as Shrek's head snaps back. And as he straightens up, looking a little woozy, um, he looks up at you, Jaeger, through blurry eyes. Uh and starts backwards. Uh, yells out, what the hell's happened to you, Jaeger? What, what's, what's going on? Where are we? <laughs> and bolts up the stairs. Mm. Bleeding from the nose. Uh, and, and Kenneth is still down the passageway? Uh, I believe Kenneth has just come out of the narrow passageway with the uh, wisecracking skull of Yaka just behind him. Oh, okay. Did you find anything good in there? No, just this talking skull. He found the best you're going to find in this old place. Your buddy you Yaka. Smash it. Yeah, good luck, buddy. I'd like to see it try. Okay. I'm going to reach for the skull. <laughs> uh, the skull does, does not resist you uh, You grab it uh, out of the air uh, hold it in your hands what's your What's your method here uh, I think first we're going to try to just, just crush uh, you push both, your, both of your palms together uh, with all the strength you have and you just hear a, a stream of mocking laughter uh, coming from the skull's disjoined uh, jawbone. It says, what, is, is invincible too, too long a word for you? Here, let me break it down. You can't kill me. 
I'm going to football spike it on the ground and then start going, going. Up the steps. It bounces off the ground, off the ceiling, uh, levels out. Kenneth, you look at it, there is not a dent or scratch on the uh, on the skull anywhere. It sort of shakes itself back and forth and says, oh, big guy's got a temper, huh? It's a cliche I never heard before. Okay, oh, doke. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna kill this thing. Yeah, it's what I it's what I said. Oh shit! I think I just destroyed Shrek forever. <laughs> I need oh, to find Shrek again. Don't look. Blame it on blame it on Jaeger. Don't don't make an enemy of the last man. Just do not make an enemy of him. I actually I I copied I. I didn't paste Shrek before I copied Jaeger. I think he is. Yeah, he's having a meltdown in chat right now. He's <laughs> he needs to be held. I think he's rocking one of the back old maps still somewhere. Yeah, seventy six. I got him. I got him. The thirteen. Uh, <laughs> Shrek. He got Shrek. He's fine. Get Shrek. Beige gets points. Mm -hmm. I don't know what points she needs. Uh, points. I got it. So um, Shrek is is just at the at the top of the the stairs. Uh, he he's uh, in 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 a bit of a tizzy, and I think he just continues outwards um, into into this room and is just sort of finding a place he can sit. Uh, what are the three of you who are up in this, uh, up in Withers' office doing? I know Aladdin. I know what Aladdin's doing. Yeah. So, I'm just kind of stirring around if there's anything that'll catch my eye. Um, well, actually, where did Withers, did Withers apparate, or did he just go out? Yeah, Withers... The the uh, the black skull amulet around his neck glowed with uh, with uh, magic energy, and then he disappeared from sight. Boom. Arcane, mysterious. I'm not going to be here anymore. Power. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, the Irish goodbye. <laughs> uh, or I'm not getting the check. Mm hmm. Yeah. What goodbye? That is that the Irish goodbye? The Irish but goodbye is you, you just don't tell anybody you're going. Okay, that's, way different, that's way different than the than the than Dinah the, Dash. Uh, the offended the offended Facebook flounce. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, I'm just gonna look around like I'm gonna sniff a seat, uh, you know, see if there's any residue that like give a clue to where he went. Uh Scratty, you you put your uh, nose to the flagstones where Withers just was standing. Uh, take a deep inhale. Uh, you don't smell anything, but your eye catches uh, a gleam under the desk. Um, it looks like uh, what one leg of the desk is sort of is is gone, and and uh, Withers has balanced the desk on something glittery. Oh, look, there's a folded up magazine subscription down here. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just going to go. Uh, does anyone want to stop me from I, I'm going to note it and I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I don't think he was a lich, by the way. I think he was like one of those guys that I smished early on in the in the thing when I got giant. I just smashed that one shade thing because mm -hmm. uh, I think Al needed to know what we were facing. That I know mm -hmm. it's infinitely killable. Um, but I'm gonna go and reach down. Hey, what's this? Uh, and, and if it does, anyone want to stop me or join in the fun? Uh, Aladdin is currently making a uh, an animal handling check. Here, little birdie, birdie, come here, little birdie. <laughs> here, did you want to? Did you want to stop me from tripping a trap? Oh. Yeah, you are mute. <laughs> um, with with a seventeen, 
uh, you don't get pecked, Aladdin, but the the uh, the skeletal bird is just edged its way all the way to the back of the cage and is flapping its what featherless, a... skinless wings. Okay, well, what if what if I give it give it just a little bit extra effort here? I'm like, no, 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 little birdie. I'm friend. I am friend. Let's add a six to that. So, uh, 23. With a 23, um, you, with, with that sort of stream of soothing words, the bird gradually calms down and climbs forward onto your outstretched finger. Oh, do you have a name, little, fu little friend? Uh, I do, I do, and it's... Wait. <laughs> I said one last time because it's it's not an. Oh uh, hell! I can't remember what it was. Uh, whoever whoever picks it first in chat gets to gets to name the songbird. All right, chatters, you know what that means. First pick or best pick. <laughs> first, I think it's first because otherwise it's first come first serve. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Name Crowford. 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 Oh, Crowford. Okay. Uh, U U Uba. 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 Come here. Uh, you look back to Uba, and Uba has one of these crawling claws perched on his shoulder, and he's sort of petting it. <laughs> oh. Oh, buddy, you've got you've already got a a, a friend, don't you? <laughs> Oh, so this is pretty cool. Like you've got a you've got a friend hand. I've got a friend bird. What a pair we make, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is this is cool. Hey, uh, uh, Crowford, uh, uh, are you friends with the hand? <laughs> Crowford. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as absolutely. All right. Well, I've set out to accomplish everything that I wanted to, so. <laughs> I wonder where everyone else is. Uh, you look over to see uh, Scrod pull something from under the desk. Uh, the desk tips perilously to one side as he takes out one of the load-bearing uh, items that it was stacked on. Uh, but Scrod, you pull out a golden gauntlet. Oh! What? Uh, that Withers has just jammed underneath there to uh, level out the. Just sort of, sort of sit, sit down there. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I like the idea that we didn't know what it was until we pulled it out. Buddy, is that is that solid gold? Uh, well, let me check, and I'm gonna uh, bite it. <laughs> uh, make a Constitution saving throw. This is not good. We don't have. Uh, I mean, good lord, I've done this. This is if Michael Phelps can do this, I can. Not advantage, apparently. Michael <laughs> Phelps finds magical golden gauntlets in. Well, I kind of rolled a natural twenty. That works. Uh, <clears throat> That'll probably be. You... I ate it. <laughs> uh, you do not shatter your teeth on the. Uh, on the gauntlet when you chomp down with all your might. Uh, it seems to be some sort of very strong alloy, or possibly it is magical in nature. I'm almost loving the idea that I was instantly attuned to it and has bound my soul. <laughs> yeah, oh. as, but that's a DM thing. As you bite down on it, <laughs> uh, there, there, so there's, there's a square or a diamond blue... A, a diamond-shaped blue gem on on sort of the opposite of the palm, whatever that's called, mm -hmm. the back of your hand. Oh, it's the thing you know. Uh, it flashes with a brilliant, uh, blinding blue light, uh, and <clears throat> the cure, Aladdin, Uba, Scrod, all of you are momentarily blinded. Okay. Momentarily, uh, I've got. Jaeger, as you come up the stairs, you see this flash of blue light coming from around the corner. Uh, when your vision 
fades back in moments later. Uh, Scrod, the gauntlet is on your left hand. Oh, no. Uh, I was just going to say, do you want me to identify that? But I, it seems... <laughs> I, I still take the identify. I'd like to know what I have here. All right. Well, don't try to take it off. That could make things worse. Let me just. Uh, well, would it help if I took it off? All gold, though. Let me. Let's just. Let's just see first. I put my ha hand over it and I start to identify it, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sit there for the yeah. the ten, eleven minutes, however long it is. <laughs> All right. Don't move. Stop moving. Every time you. Every time you move, I have to start over. What? <laughs> huh? I'm gonna pitch it. <laughs> uh, Kenneth, are you and Yaka coming upstairs as well? Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, let me copy you and not delete you. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go uh, running into the room as if there's something to fight. Uh, as as you uh, sit down trying to start to identify this, uh, you hear a thundering noise of footsteps behind you as uh, Jaeger rushes into the room. What was that like? What needs to be killed? I don't know those hands. Oh, that seems very aggressive, buddy. I feel very aggressive right now. Well, nothing... I'm a little scared. I'm gonna flinch uh, while you're reading. <laughs> Well, nothing needs killed. You need to calm down because I'm trying to identify this. I go back to identifying. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah you, you see you see this room. You see these uh, disembodied hands uh, crawling all over the bookcases. Uh, other than one that is perched on Uba's shoulder. They don't look like a threat. Um, make a, let's make this a check. Let's make this a, just a wisdom check. Uh-oh. Everything's a nail, man. Everything's a nail. Here, here comes a one. <laughs> nope, 17. 19. Oh, that's good. Uh, oh, you, you scan around and even in, even in your, even with all of these new, like, strange, whatever, like, magical hormones almost that are, flooding your brain and your body uh, you can tell that these these creatures are just sort of they look they look like secretaries almost they're, they're just uh, two of them are, are trying to reorient the the desk so that it stays level there's one on top of the desk going a little bit this way a little bit that way uh, they do they definitely don't seem like threats I don't know. You can't hold a weapon without a hand. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the undead. Yeah, you're telling me. Try being one. Wait, you're dead? On the heart? Oh. Oh, the head. Oh, right. That's the head. I was worried. I thought you were a ghost. <laughs> hey, so do you think this, this thing is... Uh... Is part of my employee compensation package for working here. He did offer us all jobs. By the way, guys, he offered us all jobs. Lifetime employment, he said. He'd never want to leave. Yeah, but he sounded like he wanted us to kill him. He did. I think I think that's how you do promotions. It, it's a good manager that tries to raise everyone up. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for advancement. Yes. I'm the doctor. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't need. I have the highest job here. I can go anywhere, and it's not anybody. Of course, I said I'll yeah, start. But are you in or out of my PPO? I couldn't answer that. Uh, while you're while you're identifying this, uh, Aladine, um, zero. Uh, runs into the room and uh, curls up on Scrod's lap. Oh, hey, Zero. And I start petting him with the gauntleted hand. Uh, yeah, uh, his, his tail is wagging furiously. Um, uh, and um, Scrod, go ahead and make an animal handling check for me. 
Okay. Uh, oh, wow. I'm actually... I should start doing that more. Dirty twenty, please. Um, you can you can tell uh, even as even as you're petting him, uh, his his tail is wagging back and forth. But his attention is not on you; it is on Jaeger. Okay, I'm gonna just eye up Jaeger. I mean, my my, I'll I'll look at Jaeger as well. Is he feeling like? How does he look? Does he look nervous? Does he look happy? Uh, uh, the, he's wagging his tail. Yeah, it's it. That, even with the twenty, it's kind of hard to tell because you you're, you 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 kind of get this feeling that he doesn't really know how to feel. There's like his 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 person is right now big and smells strange, mm. and I mean stranger than usual. That's someone got the beauty right. Um. And and he can he can still tell that it's Jaeger, but he's he's a little confused by what's going on. So, uh, so could you do that all as a puppy, please? <laughs> is, what are those, there, ear, are those ears that I sent you? The the ears. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, <laughs> the ears are back flat <laughs> against the head. Are uh, laid laid down very flat. Mm -hmm. uh, you can hear a, a slight whimper and whine uh, occasionally. And I will roll that d20 right now. It is a 14 for Shrek. Um, but his tail is wagging away. Okay. Uh, Jaeger's around. I mean, Jaeger. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna call Jaeger over. Uh. And he can bump on, bump Aladdin if he wants. He says, "Hey, hey, you want to pet? You want to pet the puppy?" Because he does look stressed out, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna just, hey, you know what? You know when I'm raging, not anymore, but I can rage with you. You know when we need to, and we're gonna do some guided meditation and some animal therapy. All right. I don't know if I can concentrate with these undead things around. Oh, I get you. I think that what will happen is we'll calm down and then we'll smash them all uh, once we get this done. On our way out, we'll just take them all down. All right, I'll try it. Okay. And I'm going to turn on a podcast. <laughs> uh, so. Oh, God, where is my... Where's my... Joe oh, Rogan. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would listen to that, wouldn't I? Um... The mists on Yavit 4 begin to creep in slowly as the gate as the nighthawks begin swooping through the sky. But far in the distance you see that's no moon. That's a space <laughs> station. The X Wings fly off gently into the night. And you're left here with Princess Leia and some other people that will be turned into a doll by Kenner. That help at all? That help at all? Uh, Scrod, make a performance check. While we're pitting, while we're pitting the dog, but our two <laughs> giant hands are <laughs> collapsing the dog. <clears throat> uh, uh, with uh, advantage, with with zero's help. Oh God! Yeah, I have a one. This will be great. I didn't roll a one, but I. I right, you have a plus with one. Advantage. Uh... Okay. Hey, Holy I got an 18 and a 19. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm rolling hot today, guys. Jeez. Yeah, I know. I'm on all the stuff that doesn't matter. <laughs> no, uh, so, Jaeger, that's that's up to, that's up to you. Um, how how it affects you, but Scrod is doing a a good job at being a calming presence right now. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's working. Sure. I feel um, like it's keeping me from uh, just randomly punching things. At, at least, yeah, and and. Uh, all of the crawling claws are staying far away from you. You are exuding enough of a uh, tiny body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the cure doesn't have... You guys all have plenty of hit points. You're fine. Uh, <clears throat> I guess that's a correction, though. I do have only 40 hit points. Yeah. That's at your most, isn't it? I think I hit a trap somewhere or something hit me. I forget. Thank you for the update. Uh, yeah, at, at some point, uh, Kakarol comes in carried by his kobolds. Uh, Shrek pokes his head in, uh, looking around uh, left to right. Um, he uh, just has sort of a, a dazed, confused look on his face. Um, he says, did we kill all those uh, little dwarfs in the other room? With the mask was ours? I think so. All right, just trying to catch up. It's uh, last four hours or so, a little foggy. Oh, you guys are killing people in here? It happens to me. Everyone's been so nice. Uh, after uh, Aladdin, finally you get your identify uh, spell off. And finally, aha! This uh, magical gauntlet uh, gives Scrod advantage on Arcana checks and intelligence saving throws. Uh, it has seven charges. Uh, you can expend the charges to cast the following spells. Detect magic for two, Misty Step for two, Hex for three, or Dispel Magic for five. Uh, you know, if it runs out of all the charges, there's a chance that it will disappear. And uh, Scrag can also make a ranged attack with the basically uh, a 60 foot range, plus five to hit, D8, three plus three, force damage. Uh, on a successful hit, you can make another ranged attack with the gauntlet as a bonus action. I tell him all of this, but I also, I finish it off with and also, if you want it hard enough, if you hold an egg in the palm of your hand with this gauntlet, you can wish it into a chicken. A baby chicken. But you have to want it hard enough. Okay, please tell me that the skeletal chicken has an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Nearby. Uh, let's go Lowe's, please. Uh, somehow that's what the songbird has. That's, that's what the egg was. You said, did you say Lowe's? I did. I did. I did. Whatever gets me that egg is what I said. Uh, yes. you, you, <laughs> uh, your head immediately snaps over to the uh, bird cage where it. Everybody who looked in that cage before just it just looks like a rock, because because what it is is basically a fossilized tiny egg. Uh, but there is, in fact, an egg in the uh, in the songbird's cage. Where that came from? Well, we just we just weren't good at, at seeing things, so I'm gonna go and uh, pick it up ever so delicately because I don't think it's fossilized. It's gonna hatch into a chicken, right? A baby chicken. I don't. Mm -hmm. I, if only there was a word for that. If only <laughs> English had a word for baby chicken. But you yeah, have anyway. to want it hard enough. Well, I know. I'm working on that. I'm, I'm going to concentrate a lot mm -hmm. on that. But also now it's like I've unfortunately taken my calming influence away from Jaeger. So you are all on your own. <laughs> Should we smash it? I'm in danger. Uh, I like. I don't like these hands because they look at these. Look at what they did to my legs. Hands aren't particularly no. undead. Yes. No amount of Soki and Palm Olive will fix them. <laughs> oh, great. It's like he gets this chicken and leaves. <clears throat> All right, Scrat, as you uh, gently hold the egg in your hands and concentrate <laughs> very, very hard, uh, Shrek pokes his head in and goes, 
All right. So, uh, what's what's the plan? What's where are we? Uh... I'm I'm sorry. I'm a little behind. What are we go? Where have we been? Where are we going? Uh... Can, I, can I give Shrek an examination? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you uh, you wander over to Shrek, uh, beckon for him to bend over and go ahead and make a medicine check. <laughs> and like I put my glove on. Yeah, tighter. I mean, just get the gauntlet. I've got a gauntlet. <laughs> it will help. Uh, I'm already wearing gloves. Okay. Oh, uh, what was that again? <laughs> medicine. Medicine? Oh, I'm actually good at that. Kind of. I would hope so. I'm a doctor. Right. Uh, at 11? Um, you can see, uh, checking the oil levels. His, his wide, flat <laughs> nose <laughs> looks broken. Um, not for the first time. You, you, you think, uh, that's, that's probably a, um, a semi, been a semi-regular occurrence in his, uh, younger life. Um, that's, that's really about all that you notice on a cursory examination. So I can't tell why he's confused? Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Even more confused now. I remember the little bear room. We went to sleep. And then I was downstairs with big guy. He points to Jaeger, uh, looking like that. I just shrugged because I was—I don't know what what the hell he's talking about. There was a bear. Well, the the tomb, the with the with the the shield, with the eyes, and the the bear statues. We went to sleep. We had a we had a sleep. I remember going to sleep. Oh, wow, that seems like weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess can I try to mime, mime to everybody that he lost his memory for like the past four hours or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make, you make a performance check. Performance? Oh, boy. How I've been rolling today. Give me what I... That's an eight. All right. So... I'm going to say that requires a DC 17 intelligence check to uh, successfully parse. Shrek doesn't need to know. So if anybody wants to try to interpret the cures... Mimes, you can make an intelligence check. Nope. All right. Please, I'll do someone it. understand me. <laughs> Where's intelligence? <laughs> that's, the, that's the first. Got a sixteen. Oh, Jaeger, you you feel like you're about to grasp it. You're about to get it. Oh, it makes me so mad. <laughs> and then yeah, there's thing near me. Uh, that would uh, be that would be the puppy. <laughs> oh no. The hands have have just managed to get the desk level again. One of them has pulled out a spirit level, is examining it, uh, gives a thumbs up, and then you your massive fist lashes out and smashes it to pieces. Uh, the the desk is now just a pile of of splinters in the middle of the room. Uh, all of the hands scatter. They are uh, other other than Uba's new friend. I said all this. Oops. I'm going to stop concentrating on the egg, which means I will never get my baby chicken. <laughs> and I really felt like you were about to get it. Too. I was about to do it. You were so uh, close. You almost wanted it hard enough. <laughs> how quickly can I? How quickly can I leave the room after his outburst of anger and smash the desk? Extremely. You have forty okay. feet of movement. I and will, actually, you... I will literally dash out of the room in a panic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You have eighty feet. Okay. Uh, all the way. As fast as I can. I've got to get out of here. Bye. 
uh, over Kenneth, uh, past the, over all of the cobbles. Do you go down the stairs, northwards, or all the way to the end of this corridor? Where would I remember the safest place would be? The, the well, the place where you had your rest is upstairs. Okay. So you perfect. you turn you turn northwards and go upstairs. Uh, I, do I have zero in my hand or not? I would say yeah. You can you can still have zero. I prefer that. Uh, I'm gonna retreat with zero. All right. And attempt to find a place to kind of you know, shelter, hide in shadows, kind of thing. Uh, as as the um, scrud yelps and dashes upstairs out of the room. Mm. Oh. And you're already up there. <laughs> What's his problem? Oh, is it the mimic? Not the mimic, the doppelganger. That'd be really wild <laughs> to find him in here. <laughs> having a great, having a great fight would probably be the best thing for me right now. Yeah. What do you mean? He always acts like that. Yes. All right. Uh. Kenneth, did you see anything? You were you were downstairs too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, did you did you see anything down there? Is there anything else on this level? I, I remember there were some there's some stuff up top we didn't we we still had to look at. If we want to, I don't I don't know. I'm they're starting to get back up to speed. There was a another passageway down that little hallway, I think. If I remember correctly. Downstairs. Oh, it's, just, it's, been like a, it's been like a week since I've been in there. <laughs> Feels like a week. Uh, yeah, you said there... So there are two tomb guardians uh, tied with a spiked chain here. Um... There is the, a sarcophagus room to the north and another room of another set of double doors to the west. But you and the cure are probably the only ones who can fit through this passageway to get there. Right. Uh, you did see, I think when, when you were out here, you saw that this corridor opened up onto the big open stairway. Yeah. All right, we're back. Well, yeah, so there are some different paths downstairs, but they seem like they might be a tight fit for some of you guys. We'll just bust the walls open. Could do. Now, Scrod, upstairs as you uh, huddle in the um, in the sarcophagus room. Oh, why? Sorry, my printer software isn't opening itself and... Well, you're out of ink, of course. You can't continue DMing. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Things are opening, things are closing. Hmm. One second. It's almost like God is offering you opportunities. <laughs> Taking them away. <laughs> he opens a window and then he closes that same window. Yeah. Oh, like really fast. Sure. <laughs> um, that, that's because God wants to let raccoons in. <laughs> oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, you you uh, run back up into this uh, this area. Uh, the uh, the the whites with the black masks are are still seated on their thrones. Um, they take no notice of you as you enter in. Um. As you stand there, um, or, or what, what would you do when you got back up into this room? There's a sarcophagus uh, in the middle of these two big statues. 
yeah, generally I'm just I'm gonna focus on my own poop right now, and I'm gonna try and do like a little bit of a calm down, calm down exercise. You know, uh, dealing with ra- uh, raging alcoholics in my life and trying to talk myself down from that. So I'll right. kind of be distracted and at zero. I don't remember if Zombie Dark Car is in here. He's not. In here. Um. He's around. I guess. I guess he probably is still just sort of. He's, he's standing in a corner. Um, everybody oh, I think kind I of. Saw right there, so. Every, everybody left him when when you all went down to. <laughs> he's walking into the wall. <laughs> he's, actually, he's he's sitting on this chair. Okay, I'm just gonna go sit with trying the dark and the dog and try and get my shit together so I can rejoin the group. All right. Uh. Go ahead and um, make. First of all, just make uh, make a wisdom saving throw. See how well you uh, you calm yourself. Do I get a bonus? Oh, I forget what this gauntlet does because it's not in my inventory. Yet. Uh, it, it's you. You have a plus five to wisdom from something. <laughs> something. Something. The massive, or like armor you've got inside your body. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, I'll go normal roll, but I have a, according to this, I have a two. A uh, saving throw, so it's a plus five. So, so a 15 total. All right. Um, you, you sort of managed to uh, calm yourself down enough to uh, make your perception check regularly. Crap. That one I have a plus five right off the get go. Not seeing it. All right, uh, so you do not notice. Um, <laughs> monster, can we? <laughs> well, that uh, one of the massive bear statues that was holding this bronze disc is no longer there. Well, that would be great information to act on if I ever care about it. <laughs> uh, back down in Withers' office. <laughs> Uh, what is everybody doing? What's what's the plan from here? Um, I wouldn't mind investigating these hallways that are too small for everyone else. I just give I just give kind of thumbs up like yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll go with you. And uh, and my uh, my fellas are all. all I think I'll, I'll send. Hey, I'll send a couple of my boys with you," says Kakarol. Uh And he he waves two of the cobbles off. The other two have to reshuffle to carry him themselves and are shaking under the weight. I like to think that they're both from the same side, so he tips. <laughs> yeah. Pick me up, you idiots. <laughs> they, should, they practiced this. They should have practiced this. All right. So I'll send you I'll follow them down, but I'll let everybody else go through and then see if I can start trying to push the hallway and make it bigger. Okay. Right. Right. Couple one, couple two. Oh my god, there's so there's so many floors, there's so many people. <laughs> Hold on, how can I forget Yaka? That Jaeger comes down as well. All right. So you guys, you guys can go ahead and move your. Or here, I'll I'll drag you over to the. Um, this was the room where you discovered Yaka in the first place, Kenneth. Uh, and the secret passageway ahead of you is still ajar. Uh, Jaeger, go ahead and make a strength check for me. <laughs> Push okay. oh, and, and before we leave, uh, go through Jaeger, that shit. Jaeger, the, the signal's gonna be if we're in danger, the cure will start screaming. <laughs> okay. So just listen listen for the cure, and you'll know that we're in danger. <laughs> I've got good hearing, I'll, I'll know. Yeah, yeah. I just cure, the cure is all you. for you. Don't let us die. <laughs> I face Not on my watch. Like, 
Your face behind your three masks. Mm, yeah. <coughs> I rolled a natural one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You, you reinforce the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you take out your hammer and uh, re- repair some of the crumbling masonry. Uh, no, you uh, you lean into the wall. Uh, you you try to uh, rip a chunk out of it. Uh, you are just absolutely gassed. Uh, it seems that. Um, Told her in the way. Yeah, what, what, whatever, whatever power has uh, it's it's still it's still running through you, but you you, you get the sense that um, it's it's maybe it's beginning to wane. All right, I'm gonna go uh, punch the wall a couple times on the opposite side, just to <laughs> to ride it out <laughs> for good measure. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll. Uh, what's this one again? 16. Hmm. All right, 16 will will hit the wall, uh, but it has. Go ahead and roll your d12 plus 3. There is a damage threshold that you need to hit. Uh, that would be 6. Six, uh, yeah, six is not going to do it, and uh, you take a, a single point <clears throat> of bludgeoning damage as you bloody your knuckles against the wall. Yeah. Um, Aladine, uh, uh, you are you are left with uh, the two kobolds straining under Kakarol's weight. Uh, Shrek, Uba. Uba's crawling hands and Crowford. Uh, I'm gonna look around and go. How did the? How did I get left with these guys? <laughs> Sh- Shrek, what are we doing here? Is this what is this what we've been relegated to? I literally don't know what we're doing here. Well. I have I have no idea what we're doing here. Okay, as I'm doing this, I'm also trying to feed ra- uh, uh, feed the the bird rations. <laughs> the bird, that's uh, uh, um, the Pirates of the Caribbean thing. I figured he, he grabs the rations and it just falls through uh, the the rib cage and onto the floor. Oh, uh, that's just a waste. But I feel... uh, one of the crawling claws skitters over. Uh, uh, another one, one, one with a broom and one with a dustpan. Well, at least you guys are efficient. Uh, scurry away. Um, I mean, Uba, they were talking about a tight fit. I mean, maybe we should, maybe we should go. Yeah. I don't like the kobolds. They smell. Fu- oh wait, um, I'm, I'm saying this out loud. I'm gonna look around and go. <laughs> I mean, uh, the the kobolds while uh. Very noble. Um, Kakarol is snoring. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I, I, once noticing that, I go. Ah, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> I just don't. I don't want to be near these guys. Uh, Shrek, you got these guys right, and I'm gonna point at him, and I'm gonna go. Okay, see you. Bye. Sure. All right. I'll stay here. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, me Happy and me and Uba will uh ah. Deep. 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 based <sighs> yeah, yeah you see you see Jaeger slamming his fists into an unyielding stone wall <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> oh man I think it's I think it's I think it's good. You, you think so? Yeah. Um, I don't. I, looking at this, there's. I clearly couldn't get through here, could I? Um, it's it's actually you would you would basic you would be, not even crawling. You would be like, on your stomach. Maybe crawling. 
It's what did it say? It's three feet by by two feet. And crawlways are three feet high, two feet wide. You would have to crawl through. Jaeger, Scrod, Shrek, definitely not getting through, no matter what. Uh, I'm gonna um just too wide. Jaeger, if you don't, if you don't mind stepping aside here, uh, you you can you can beat the wall into submission once we get through. But I think me and Uba are gonna go uh, uh, make sure uh, the rest of the guys are good. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening out. If uh, I'll I'll break through this wall uh, eventually. Oh, okay. Hey, listen. Um, uh, if anything goes wrong, I'll make the cure scream. So yeah, if yeah, you that's the, that's the signal. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect. Hey, that works. All right, cool. So I'll just make the cure scream if we need your help. All right. All right. And then out. I've got a keen sense of hearing. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I'm going to go <laughs> up and up and around and through and I go, oh, I didn't bring the hand. I didn't have the hand. <laughs> He's good. He's game. He's here. Now, let me give you. Oh wait, I can't for some reason. Okay. Well, we'll just know the birds there. Um, I, I got. Oh, I, I need to make a. I need to make a thing for the bird. Uh, hey, so. hey guys. Uh, we're figured we'd help you out. Oh. Well, nice to have you. Are you still not talking? I think he took a vow of silence. A lot of the monks the monks did attack at home. <laughs> I'm gonna go, man. We really gotta get you a voice or something, man, because this uh, charades is not your game. <laughs> I don't think he's ever talked. Get a cure look at you. He goes. I'm gonna go. You know what? I I think the weather is lovely this time of year, but that has nothing to do with what we're doing here. So I think we should focus the cure. Don't you agree? I say nothing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? Uh, okay. Yeah, we're going through this, this door up here. Do I see this purple stuff? Uh, yes, you do. Do I know what? Th can I tell what this purple stuff is just from looking at it? One moment. I have to scroll up for a while. It's like juice. Uh oh, I see some. Oh, maybe I don't see some. Oh, no, yeah, that thing. I see it. I see it. That's the thing that <coughs> Kenneth told me about. Doopy 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 doo. Uh, go ahead and make an arcana check. Perfect. Um, oh, balls. Nine. Um. It. Uh, it, it looks, it looks like, uh, it's Doctor. slime. It's just Me. some sort of, like, purple, slimy substance. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any magical properties to it. Okay. Neat. Uh, but yeah, you can see patches of it on, uh, the floor in, in corners uh, covering some bits of the ceiling. What does it taste like? I put my finger up. I turn around. Lift my mask up. <laughs> Okie doke. Yes. <laughs> we are just... We, I, what? The best way to is the taste, smell, or... <laughs> yeah. Have, uh, have relations with it, yeah. Um... It tastes, uh, highs or lows? Hi. It tastes faintly of grape. Oh. <laughs> I turn back to the guys and I'm like, oh, it's like edible. And I just take a handful and just. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's like. Like this grape jelly lying around? I, it's, <laughs> it's like, um, very diluted grape jelly oh uh and as you as you take uh a, another uh big uh handful of it and uh mush it into your mouth 
the taste and smell abruptly changes to uh, that of a rancid onion. I'm probably not too phased by it since I've been around Shrek this whole time. Yeah. Um, okay. It's a little, ugh. But I, 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 it stays down. It's not like that tea earlier. <laughs> so how was it? Eh. All right, fine. Keep your secrets. <laughs> Look like you really enjoyed it. I throw a, I throw a handful at you guys. <laughs> Ah, ah. Slime fight. Ah. Is this like the gasoline fight? <laughs> exactly like the gasoline fight. I am going I to... I wonder if I can just do that. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I'm going to move um further in and go... Uh, okay, uh, do we... um? Oh, oh they're careful of these alcoves on the right. And I'm just gonna start running that way, like with these alcoves right here, and I'll I'll come up to one. Uh, another a pair of these massive uh, armored flesh golems uh, stand across from each other. A uh, a spiked chain. Uh, connected to iron collars around each of their necks. So uh, would you classify these as a flesh daddy? Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Kenneth leaves. <laughs> uh, Aladine making no attempt to be stealthy. Uh, I didn't know we were supposed to. <laughs> Aladdin's yeah, just like going. whistling, trying trying to teach a a, a a new a new song to the bird. Like, uh, you find your path. My kind of bird. <laughs> <laughs> Stopped by this rusting Hulk, ah. uh, which steps out in front of you and reaches out to grab you. That's initiative, baby. Wait, all of us? I uh, don't everybody... know you. That's my purse. That'll be Kenneth the Cure and Aladdin. <laughs> okay. I'm still gonna roll. Uh, and, uh, yeah, everybody roll. Wow. I, somewhere wow. I feel in my heart that I need to be an initiative. <laughs> I love that I, I go first, too. <laughs> That's right, I go last. <laughs> uh, will everybody uh, read those off for me again? Absolutely. Uh, so Scrod gets a I 20. A 20. <laughs> I got a 30. Eight. Jaeger has a 7. Aladine has what? 7. 7. The Cure has what? A 30, 20. 30, 20. Uh, Shrek... I guess. Oh, yeah, she gets fucking 19. <laughs> Plus oh, four. Uh, and Kakarol gets five. Plus uh, just five. <laughs> uh, the the uh, Cobbles will take Kakarol's initiative. <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> what could Shrek possibly hear? Scrod. Uh, Scrod, go ahead and make another perception check. Please, yes, I definitely need the. I need to do some some magical here. I wish I remember. Okay, seventeen this time. Uh, yeah, you you've had enough time, uh, just sort of cooling down, uh, in this room. Um, enough time to uh, your your gaze just has passed back and forth past this as this area three or four times, but finally, this time, something clicks, uh, and you, you notice that the uh, northernmost bear statue yep. is nowhere to be seen. Okay, that was the daddy bear. The daddy bear. The flesh daddy the bear? bear? Daddy. Yeah. Oh, the, the stone, iron stone the, daddy. The stone daddy. <laughs> I love that this. Was, that was the <laughs> I danced under. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to see that, and then I'm going to go, holy Yeah. The, I think I'd better find my friends. There's an alert goes off in your head, for sure. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. Um, yeah, I'm going to head back toward, the, toward my friends, because I figured that that's... Since I felt a sudden tingle in the force, like I was forced to roll initiative, <laughs> and then fell silent. So, I'll uh, just head down now. You scoop up zero, do you scoop up dark car? Sure. Boom. I've still got the egg perched in my hand somehow, too. It's really weird. An egg perched in your head. Step two. Your hands. Egg somewhere. Uh, all right, you reach the, hand. Yeah. the bottom of the stairs. Yep. Um, and uh, you can hear uh, Shrek and Cackerel playing uh, I Spy with My Little Eye. Some oh, distance away from you. Oh, that's cool. All right. The Cure, you are up. Um, uh, okay. you, you hear, or, and, and probably see just before you head up, up that corner, uh, one of the Tomb Guardians step out. I thought they were attached by collars. If I remember right. They are attached together by a collar, or by by a, by a spiked chain. Oh, they're attached together, not attached to the wall. Yeah. Oh. Well, Look, I don't know why, but that's what the book says. <laughs> um. We just Azrak just thought this was funny, or Withers. The, I don't know. Buddy, it's the buddy system. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um. I probably go. Oh, that's weird. In my head, and do that. <laughs> I'm going to move further into the room that I was heading into. Okay. Uh, let me just read this description for you quickly. Yes. Uh, a four-column portico juts out from the far wall. That's that's the northern wall. Beneath with a stone, a stone sarcophagus rests in a wall recess. Four ceramic frog masks hang in niches around the sarcophagus. Ooh. Here oh. and here. Beneath the masks, humanoid bones are strewn across the floor. Uh, to the east, um, this 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 area right here, okay. a large <laughs> carving of a tentacled frog monster squats above a shrine. Offerings lie on a shelf before it. Four rectangular frescoes adorn the adjacent walls. Uh, let me read those to you. Uh, east wall of the tomb. Oh yeah, so so there's there's two here, and there's two here. Okay. Uh, you can you can closely see the two here, which are uh, a frog like a, a frog hemoth uses its tentacles to help the Omuan people knock down a mighty statue. In the foreground, an old woman wearing a frog mask tosses five coins from her hand as though sowing seeds. The one below that shows a frog behemoth wrapping its tentacles around a giant crocodile as Omu and hunters stab the crocodile with their spears. In the foreground, an old man wearing a frog mask holds a bug up to his open mouth. Uh, you can see that there are two more frescoes to the north. You just can't really discern them from this distance. Right. I could, though. If I was really curious. I probably will. I'm sure you got enough hit points. To get dash, there. dash, dash. Yeah, dash, I'm gonna. Dash, I'm gonna dash. Well, I can do that as a bonus action if I remember right. Can I do that as a bonus action? Oh no, I can't. I can't. But I can dash though. Yeah. Oh yeah, dash. you can just disengage yeah. or and yeah. hide or hide. Eh, goblin. So uh, <laughs> I dash and I can. I guess I can see the other ones. Uh, you see, above a frog hemoth with four Omuan hunters riding on its back finds a small boy in the jungle. The hunters seem elated. In the foreground, a young woman wearing a frog mask holds a knife in one hand and a headless chicken in the other. And the one below that shows a frog hemoth wallowing in a shallow pool as Omuans offer it urns of food and treasure as tribute. Uh, cracks in the fresco obscure the head of the human figure in the foreground, but you can see that it grasps a lit candle. Okay. And then there is the shrine between them. 
that okay. boy did math. I'll probably, I'm, I'm, since I can't do anything else, I'm probably just like, I'll tell you guys now, probably the next turn I'm probably going to grab one of these masks. Because I'm right. a mask level fool right now. Yeah, another goddamn mask. Kenneth, you're up. Hmm. Okay. Well. I don't think it looks like he's got the handle, so I'm going to check out these doors over here. <laughs> Boy, I had me fooled. I never would have picked you as the smart one. Says Yaka. Uh, you go to that door. Does, you... Doesn't respond in minus one intelligence. <laughs> uh, you push the door. Do you push the doors open? Yeah, I'll push them open. Uh, ten feet, the doors swing open on rusty hinges to reveal uh, a thick... Oh, I need to open that, huh? <laughs> thick. Thick. Uh, to reveal a thick tapestry hanging from wall to wall, ten feet from the doors. Its embroidery shows a scene of merriment. Nobles feasting around a banquet table, a roast boar on a platter, and servants pouring wine. That is all you can see in this room. I'll enter the room. And... I'd like to poke at the poke at the tapestry with my quarter staff. Uh, you, as you um, poke at the, uh, the the tapestry, you notice that it, it's um, it's split down the middle. You you push like one side of it, and it billows a little bit. The other side stays stationary. They're like they're, they're it's hanging like two curtains basically, um, with a split down the middle. Can but I, nothing like, else kinda, happens. Kind of like, kind of like part it. Yeah. Uh, you reach forward with your quarter staff and push uh, one curtain to the side, or the first curtain to the side. No spoilers. The first curtain to the side to reveal another curtain huh. uh, hanging behind the first, showing the same scene but descended into depravity. The nobles fight with each other, partake in carnal encounters on the table, or sprawl on the floor in puddles of vomit. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Lord, they fucking. <laughs> That sounds like a party, all right. <laughs> well, we better keep exploring. Pushing another another curtain aside? Yeah. You know, you could take what's in the box and not behind the curtain. <laughs> a scene yeah. of horror confronts you on, on this curtain. Nobles feasting on servants, eating each other alive and setting fire to the hall. The roast boar is alive and laughing on its platter. Awesome spooky shit. Huh. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> no. Eighteen. Uh, you feel a wave of fear and horror come across you. You are able to stifle it. Is this similar to like the like the Hellmouth waves of horror or? Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah, it, it has that same sort of uh, sickly feeling to it. Oh, I should probably keep checking out the room then, see, make sure there's not a thing in here that we need to seal or something. <laughs> uh, you, you take another step forward and push aside the curtain to see the rotting head of a giant boar mounted on the wall behind the final curtain. Fresh blood and gore spatters its tusks, dribbling down the wall behind it. Oh. Make another wisdom saving throw. Oh, false. And there. Oh, it's only a 12. Do you want to use your... Do you want to use any extra... Um, no pressure. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's funnier if I don't. <laughs> but uh, since it's early, since it's early, let's just use my I'll use my inspiration. All right. Is that a D twelve? That is a D twelve. Already burned mine for a bird. So 
11. As you uh, as you push aside this final curtain to see this massive rotting uh, pig's head, whispers in in inside your brain uh, say, "Come on, come to me. Don't be afraid." And you feel an overwhelming urge to step forward and put your head into the mouth of the boar. Oh no, not the bite of 87. You take one step towards it and something makes you shake free of this. Uh, and you, your eyes refocus on the boar's head and once again see the fresh blood splattering its tusks. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I don't think I want to put my head inside. Some of the drug hallucination, right? You Do you have you someone else's head? <laughs> hey. Yeah, can I put, can I put hey. the actor's head in there? Uh, yeah, uh, you, you, you grab Yaka from the air, um, place, uh, make a dexterity check, or sleight of hand, make a sleight of hand check. Um, as you, uh, place the, uh, the, the golden skull, uh, into the boar's head, uh, Yaka says, oh my god, how many times do I gotta tell you? I'm, I literally can't be hurt or killed. Yeah, yeah, the, I know, that's why, that's why I'm putting your head in there, not mine. Uh, the boar's jaws clamp down, uh, on, on the golden head. And you you see the jaw almost dislocate the the jaw of of the boar. <clears throat> um, one of the uh, one of the uh, tusks grazes your hand. Uh, you take three points of slashing damage. Um, but you can see that the. Uh, uh, the, the, the boar has been greatly hampered by this. You know, oh. I think that you did, you should have read that label that says do not operate well under the influence of alcohol. <laughs> you know I can't read. <laughs> Just feel it hot in your head. All right, um... I guess I'll take Yaka, move Yaka, and bring him with me. All right, yeah, you uh, you rest Yaka. Uh, yeah, the, the the jaw yeah. hangs limply, and Yaka sort of floats back out, uh, shakes himself off. Bits of uh, gore and rotted meat sort of splatter around him. And he goes, "All right, well, that was that was fun. What's next?" Yeah, this room's this room's kind of a bore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ho! Oh. Where did that come from? Oof, that one hurt. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's not the other man's only gift. Uh all right, Aladine, you're up. <laughs> uh let's see. Al Aladine's gonna go look look around here and be like, oh what the Are these do these things look tough? Yes, they are. They are massive, heavily armored. Uh, they have uh, spikes on their fists, on their gauntlets. They are uh, big boys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and risk the. Uh... The uh, the damage from a opportunity attack and back up a little bit, so I'm back in this hallway. Okay. Uh, what's your AC? My AC is 14. Yeah, oh, that's wow. a hit. Perfect. Uh, um, is it actually? Uh, you know what? Go ahead and roll it, cause we'll see if a plus five. I believe I have shield. I do. 
Um, what the under my teeth? When when do you do you have to cash when do you? It's a um reaction. Oh, I guess. How does that? How does would that? Say... How would that work? Which you take when you were hit by an attack or targeted by the magic missile spell. Uh, I'm gonna say you have to you have to do it before you know what the damage is. Okay. Um, I'm still gonna do it. I'll I'll, I'll do it. I'll burn you, the charge. You, yeah. So. Um, you you will be happy you did that. Nineteen would be my AC at that point. Uh, yeah. The um, with preternatural speed, the uh, this massive claw or spiked gauntlet rockets towards you. You cast shield in the nick of time for it to bling, bounce off harmlessly. Uh, and yeah, you're, you're backed up. Um, Eat it. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, look at uh, Uba and be like, Uba, you're going to have to come back here uh, as well, buddy. Don't, don't, don't get stuck over there. And um, for my action, I'm going to use my Ring of the Emerald Lantern to cast Wall of Force. That's five charges. So let me one, two, three, four, five, plus the one for shield. I only have one okay. more charge left. Uh, to pretty much um, make a wall right here. An imp yep. impenetrable wall of force right there. Uh, all right. Um, you you do so. And, and uh, look. You can see it. I'll look down just the hallway. Vaguely. Oh, sorry. No, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, that's, that's it. You just see it. A gotcha. Bit. I'll, I'll look down the hallway at the cure and also back at Kenneth and go, uh, yeah, no, that that's, that's fine, guys. Um, uh, hand, it, it's handled. Um, Aladdin, I knew as you, you had it in you. <laughs> Just don't uh, as you look back at Kenneth, uh, would you go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me? Ooh, sure. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, no. My wisdom saving throw is pretty good. But that you get to walk into your wall of force? Uh, 21. Damn. All right. Uh, you hear these, these whispers in, in your head saying, Oh, Lord of Feast will take care of you. Just come to me. You have a feast? Uh, it, you, you shake it off. Uh, the, 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 the boar's head seemed for just a second like it was alive with wet, glistening eyes. Uh, and then you sh shake it off and you see the dead, rotting thing that it is. That, that's gross, man. I think I had the easier job, actually, mm -hmm. now that I'm looking at everything. All right. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to say for the next 10 minutes uh, that you have Wall of Force, we're going to be out of initiative. Um, I'll give I'll give Jaeger. Jaeger, you get your turn. Um, have I come down at all, or am I still aggravatedly uh, big? Um... Let's go highs or lows. Uh, we'll go lows. Um, so you you guessed correctly, so it is up to you. Um, we'll say that I finally started to, to calm down and it started to wane. All right. And now I'm exhausted. You you Lighter. lose the um the. Boop. The temporary hit points and have what is it one level? Uh, oh no, that, no, you don't actually. No, you're just you're just, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just assume that I'd be tired after all that. Yeah. Not mechanically. I couldn't remember right. if I added that or not. Oh no, that's that's Scrod's thing. Scrod yeah, yeah. Is. Uh, so at this point, uh, I've heard nothing, right? You yep. wouldn't have anyway. Just, uh, just Aladdin, um speaking kind of indistinctly, but you definitely yes. didn't hear. <laughs> you definitely didn't hear the cure scream. Right. Um, I would say you would be able to crawl through the crawl space. 
or the crawl way. Then I'm gonna do it. All right. Uh, um, yep. uh, you make your way into this small room with the cobbles. Um, you can see Aladdin ah, standing. I didn't hear the cure scream. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, just, I got kind of bored. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. The, the the wall you were done beating that into submission. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what's going on with that, but that was that was exhausting. Yeah, you looked real angry. Felt angry, uh, which I can't explain it. But you look a lot better. I feel more myself now. That's good. And I don't like just hanging out in the back while everybody's you know putting themselves in danger. So. Oh, well, don't look down that hallway. There's a, a gross boar that'll whisper things into you. Uh, what? <laughs> Raising. I'm going to I'm gonna try to, like, glance down and see if I can tell what he's talking about. <laughs> I can make a wisdom Because <laughs> <laughs> as soon as someone tells you not to do something, your inst yep. instincts are to do it. Uh, 19. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh... You 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 feel exactly what what he describes. It's it's trying to whisper into you. It's it's almost seductive. Um, you 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 feel your stomach grumble, and especially after exerting that much effort, your stomach is you are running on empty, and this voice promises you that you will never be. You you will be forever satiated if you just just come over here, and you shake it off, and again see this massive rotting boar's head mounted on the wall, jaw slack, spattered with blood. Uh, I don't know. okay, yeah, no, I see what you're talking about. That's <laughs> that's pretty weird. To the right, you see two tomb guardians uselessly bouncing off. A wall of force. What the hell have you guys been doing down here? Um. Uh. Well. See. They told me. Boring. Yeah. They told me not to go look at the alcove, but all I heard was there's an alcove. Um. So now there's a wall of force. Uh. Don't. Don't go that way. Uh. And and then Kenneth found the the boar. Uh, and the, the, the cure, uh, I haven't heard from the cure in a while. Have, uh, uh, Kenneth, did you uh, hear, did you hear the cure say anything? I, I put on the screen that needs backup. <laughs> you, you look into the, the room to the north, uh, where the cure steps back, uh, from one of these alcoves. He has I put all of them on somehow <laughs> stacked more masks on top somebody's gonna have to keep a uh, a running oh, count here guys i think it might be time for an intervention <clears throat> we might have to say something about the masks <laughs> i mean i have people like collections of things yeah yeah but i think i think it's becoming a problem i mean how many i see i see like four or five masks on his face that's that's a problem how is he gonna walk through a normal hallway yeah, i think he's gonna have to get bigger masks Um, Aladine, uh, both of the cobbles, um, clearly have not listened to your warnings because they both like sort of, they, they both peer around the corner, uh, their, their heads like, you know, doink doink stacked up next to each other. You see their eyes glaze over and they both begin walking, uh, towards the, towards the boar. And I'm just going to go, I told, I told them not to, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious to see what the boar does. I, I know what the boar does. What does it I do? Grab, Are you, grab, it, it's gonna, it's gonna, I, I want to, I want to try, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot, kind of hit the boar with my, my, my web venom thing. Yes. Let's, let's, uh, let's yeah, just, make an let's attack. Just, let's just, let's just web it shut. Oh yeah, so that's uh, do you do you have uh, so it's just a save. Uh, it has a hit. Oh, it does okay. That does hit. 
Well, it's it's got a hit, but it does say it has to succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Man, I don't oh, know. Maybe, maybe, that's for the, maybe that's just for the maybe that's just for the restraint. Let me look. That's bizarre. Let me let me look. Well, so, it also deal. It maybe it deals damage, so maybe the so it's a ranged state, attack. The throws for and the, then it has to succeed. For, so yeah. so it's going to take the poison damage. So go ahead and roll three d six. Yeah. Uh, and it automatically fails the 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 saving throw. So it is uh, it is webbed shut. Uh, if pulls it towards you. Um, yeah, as you as you spit out these webs for the for the first time since this black like thing snapped onto you, uh, you see your webs spit out a a pure black, and as it uh, as it oh. sort of wraps around the bore, you can hear it start to sizzle and burn away the rotted flesh. Um, the couples, however, do still seem to be uh, drawn to it. I'm gonna grab them so they can't keep moving. All right, make a, we're gonna we're gonna try to grapple them. Yeah, it's just gonna be one, uh, one one strength roll for you. They each get their own try to escape, but you can you can easily try to. Nineteen. Um, Let's see. And I'll, just, next day. and I'll just go, oh, what a sad day for science. <laughs> um, uh, nope, you nab both of them. Um, they're, they're just sort of like, you, you pick them up off the, off the ground and they are just like, they, they look like they're still trying to walk uh, forward. Uh, but you have them. Oh, oh no! And they get really big. Oh. <laughs> oh, they don't. Uh, so yeah, you, Jaeger, you have them both. Uh, like one, one in each arm. Uh, they're just locking in air uh, as the as the pig's head sizzles away. Uh, and then as as your as your web continues to eat away at the at the flesh. Uh, at some point, the uh, the whole um, the whole skull and 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 heads collapses to the ground, sort of splatters on the ground, and at that point, the uh, the cobbles shake themselves awake, look up at you, Jaeger, and begin wriggling to try to get out of your grasp. Yeah, let them go. Uh, they they brush themselves down. Uh, look at each other, jabber in some strange uh, dialect that only only Kakarol's cobbled speak, uh, and then settle back, uh, sort of looking around shiftily and a little a little guiltily. They, they know yeah. they fucked up. Now you're gonna do what you're told next time. Okay, maybe if maybe if you behave, we won't mention this to Kakarol. Not Dunk Gakarol. Uh, we'll see. Secret pact. Uh, one of them spits in his hand and, and offers it to you. Oh, do I get like your life? Is this is this like a life debt? Sure. Okay, cool. I'm just I'm collecting a menagerie of <laughs> <laughs> I will also spit on his hand. I'm just oh come on. Okay, uh, mm. There's so much spit on my hand. Uh, all right, let's let's pop up to. And you were and you were concerned about someone wearing masks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, listen. <clears throat> These are living, breathing beings, with the exception of one bird. Uh, I'm not strike... sure how meta we want to take this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to Space HR. Scott, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you hear uh, yes. the voice of Shrek echoing around the corner. He says. I spy something purple. And then Kakarol's voice says, is it the the one purple book on that shelf? And Shrek says, yeah, you got it. Oh, I'm joining this. This sounds like a fun game. <laughs> Where are they at? 
Uh, they are they are in Withers' office. Okay. Um, I can't I can't bring my entourage. So I got them. They're here. Lock myself <laughs> down there. Oh, good lord! They beat me there. <laughs> Seeing how they're doing. How's it going, guys? So where's the where's everybody else? Uh, they went down to uh, do something. I'm still kind of uh, foggy. I still don't really know what all this. They went down. Okay. Uh, silly question. Does he still look like super rough? I think it like is like this, you know, like one of these. Uh, yes. Yeah, he he's got he's got like a um, a dirty, very very dirty handkerchief uh, up, plugged against his nose. Oh wow! It looks like one of the cure tampons. <laughs> And yeah, with with the blood on, it's yeah, it's not a good it's not a good look. I'm gonna means, I'm gonna try and do I now that. have to I now have to do a nasal shrek, which will be fun. Yeah, uh, I brought this I, upon myself. Can I can I try and do medical then? Yeah, you can make a medicine check. I mean, that's the most dumb thing I could do. <laughs> but uh, see if I can, or or else if nothing else, like you know that that weird guided meditation to recover his memories. But I think this involves stitches. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Cackerel says, I spy something bloody. I pull out the rag from his nose. Hopefully. Yeah, you got it. Out. There you we got go. It. No, no, you do. And I toss it over to him. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, he actually, he he tries to uh, <laughs> jet out a, a burst of flame that incinerates the, uh, the, the handkerchief midair. Oh, that's brilliant, because I rolled a one. <laughs> and I refuse to use inspiration. Um. <laughs> As I pull out the thing, I'm assuming that literally would probably be the this, best. Yeah, it, sorry. It's, it, uh, you, you take out the, uh, uh, the handkerchief, toss it over your shoulder. This burst of flame startles you. You had, you had Shrek by the chin. You, you sort of jump and slam the back of his head into the wall. Oh, I love the idea of neck snap. Um, <laughs> his <laughs> eyes go unfocused again. Okay. And then refocus on you, and he goes, uh, "What's what's going on? Where are we?" Uh, we're here, and I'm just gonna sort of brush the blood off the back of his head, I guess. <laughs> See yeah. if there's any bleeding. Is it pump? Is there a dilated an artery or anything? <laughs> no, it's it's just there's definitely going to be a, a nice goose egg. Oh, okay. Well, back there. Oh, hey, I've got an egg too. Um, I think I'm going to do this. It's like actually, Shrek, I need your help on this, and I'm uh, I don't know why I'm trying to do this uh, instead of helping the party, but I know meta wise I can't go down anywhere. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, you know what? Um speaking of eggs. I got this egg here and I hold it out in the goblet at hand. His eyes sort of swim into focus. Yeah, I'll bet if we if we look at this really hard, uh we can recover we can kinda help you help you get your focus back. But you gotta wish really hard because it makes baby chickens. Alright, this all sounds perfectly normal to me. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if Cackerel will be interested in this with the I Spy thing. Cackerel's asleep again. Oh, yes. Okay. What about the other goblins that are holding? Are they still just holding up? While uh, they're, they're in, their uh, knees are knocking together, um, which is from, from bearing the weight on their own. But you, you get the sense that uh, they're not allowed to set it down even if Cackerel is asleep. Oh, I absolutely am sure of that. Okay, so we'll just sit here and stare at this rock while the rest of the party has fun things to do. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Uh, all right, the cure. Uh, we're back to uh, you. You are you are in this room. Let me know if you want me to read any of that over again. I put all the masks on. You have all the masks on. It's perilously okay? stacked. Am I okay? Uh, yes. Nothing happens when you put the masks on. My only assumption would be, I guess, I guess, 
I would try and put all the things that the people in the uh, in the the carvings or whatever, uh, people who had the masks to put that thing on the altar, I guess. So I guess the gold coins, the food, uh, a bug, and what if we had a dagger? What was the dagger one? I forget. Um, the 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 a young woman wearing a frog mask holds a knife in one hand and a headless chicken in the other. Um, as you as you look at the shrine, you notice that there are a few things uh, already stacked um, up, upon the shrine. Yeah. Uh, there is a copper bowl that is uh, stained a deep red inside, containing rat bones. Uh, there are four dead cockroaches, and there is a green wax candle with a salvageable wick. I guess I just put the gold coins in. Uh, so you 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 uh, dig out five gold pieces and set them on the shrine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you do so, and nothing happens. Oh. Yeah, that didn't work. I'll well, wander over here, past the threshold, and well, see if I can open the uh, sarcophagus. Okay, uh, go ahead and uh, make an athletics check. Oh boy, let's, let's see how low we can roll today. That's an eight. Uh, yeah, you you uh, begin to heave against the lid to the sarcophagus, and it is shut tightly. Hmm. Uh, at this point, any, any of the other three of you, Kenneth, Aladdin, or Jaeger, can head into the room if you want, or whatever else you're doing. Yeah, I'll check out. Uh... Which way was the boar's head? Uh, the boar's head is to the left. And that's gone now, right? It is gone. All right, yeah, I'll head over that way. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my new kobold friend and go. What What's your name? Don't have one. Uh, you do now because you are my ward, uh, and you shall forever now be known as Steve. 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 Yes. Good job, my name Steve. Is Steve. Your name is Steve, and mm. Steve. I reward everyone in my employ with uh, their hard work. You get the, you know, honest value of your labor. So let's, uh, let's go see if the cure needs any help. I haven't heard anything from him, which is strange. He's always talking everyone's ear off. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> let's uh, just get rid of that and change to select. And uh, let's 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 go up here. That's and that's and that's what uh, Aladdin is going to do. All right, uh, you you wander in. You see uh, the cure the gently piling gold pieces on the shrine while wearing four frog masks. Gently or tossing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, Throwing overhand as hard as he can. Oh yeah, spiking that shit right on the fucking offering table. The the cure we we we've gathered you here today because. I'm Steve. We want to, yeah, Steve, Steve is here as well. And we just want to talk to you about, um, your, your incessant need to put things on your face. You don't have to put everything you find on your face. Mm -hmm. Uh, Steve is, mm -hmm. is pulling at your, at your, uh, uh, your vest. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. Steve. I think you do have to put things on your face. Well, I mean, it's yes. very important. So sometimes, sometimes you do like like lotion. It's important to stay moisturized. But but you don't. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Steve pulls out like a little rock and a stylus and begins trying to etch this, etch what you're saying mm -hmm. into the rock. This is very very important that you 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 take all of my wealth very, of knowledge. Very. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you get the bit about the lotion? Our spell. 
uh, 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 L O, uh, and and, and shun. <laughs> uh, he scratches away for a while and then shows you the rock tablet. It's just like it's just a mess of random scratches and scribbles. Huh. Um, I'm gonna go. That was a very good job, Steve. Very good work. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll go up to the cure and be like, do you, do, you, do you need anything? I can't. I just, I just point at the frescoes and just shrug. Can I try to dispel magic and see if that gets rid of whatever's uh, messing with his <laughs> voice? Uh, can I can I roll to see if I know that that would help or not? Is there yeah, like any kind of check? I am the only one who can get rid of my own boy problem. Fif Fifteen. Um. You uh don't you you think? Well, actually, let me look. What room was that in? Magic fountain. Uh, well, similar magic. I would say, yeah. It's it is a ma it's it's caused by magic, uh, so you think dispelling the magic would work? I'm gonna go ahead and cast dispel magic, and there goes all of my spells. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, um... yeah pin me down first. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'll fine. If 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 this has to be done by force, and we're like, no, you get back here, the cure. This is for your own good. We are done trying to understand you by charades. Get back here. Steve has his, Steve has his, like arms spread out. He's jumping back and forth trying to help you corner the cure. Yeah, yeah, yes, Steve. No, no, no. We're, we're on the other side. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I believe uh, dispel magic has a range of 120 feet. So he, he just he just gets you, the cure. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, you feel uh, whatever has has uh, tied your vocal cords or muted them uh, dissipates. Ah, crap! Oh. What do you What do you mean, crap? Now you can finally communicate with us. You have no idea what kind of hell I've gone through. Yeah, I mean, I could see it on your face every single time you try to tell us anything simple. I have masks. How could you? You have. <laughs> That's Stop another thing I gotta talk masks. to you about. The masks. God, my God, man! Four of them at once. That's excessive. Well, yes, you have to share. Steve really wants a mask. I wrote no, that it's down. mine. It's mine. It's <laughs> is he? Is he getting like? Can I? Can I like tell if 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 something is causing him to be very possessive over these masks? Uh, yeah. Just make an insight check. I'm gonna say at disadvantage because he can't see his face. Okay, that's that's <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Eight different masks. Uh, Actually, eleven's 30. probably gonna be it. Yep, I rolled an eleven and a seventeen, so eleven. Uh, I, I mean, you just dispelled magic on him. So if there was any sort of magical attachment to the to the masks, you think that would have likely gone away? As far right. as you can tell, this is just the, this is just classic. The cure is uh, just old recipe. The cure. The cure is just crazy, and I'm just now realizing it. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? Mm. Dealing with chemicals all day kind of gets to our mind. Yeah. Hey, listen. When we were in the room with the hands and the 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 decrepit guy, I really could have used your insight. Um, but that's you, done. I wouldn't touch in that guy. He was gonna blow me away. <laughs> I can tell from his undeadness. So what's the deal with the masks? I'll just say that. No idea. They just look cool. Uh, Aladdin, you you look around at the room and notice the four frescoes. In each of the frescoes, there is a a person wearing a frog mask, doing something. Maybe. We each need to wear a frog mask and do the thing in the thing in front of the thing. You see me slowly pan to you, and I just start going, no. 
<laughs> no. Life. Minus. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, well, maybe then you should do each thing one at a time in front of? I did. There's already the cockroaches, the blood, and the candle, and I'm throwing gold pieces out and nothing happened. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe we, maybe it has oh! to be one. I know what it is. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I light the candle? <laughs> uh, you light the candle? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you, you do light the candle. Who, who yes. Was far? Hmm, hmm. Anything happen? Uh, not yet. Not Nothing yet. happens. All right, yeah, well, nice. that's a nice, nice. candle. The cure. I just don't. I don't see how you get away with not giving out three of these masks. But I, I got them down off of the the alcoves with the with the bones in them. Yeah. No. No. You did a great job. It's fantastic. I mean, um, Steve's real proud of you, right, Steve? I'm gonna elbow Steve. <clears throat> proud. So proud. See. See. He's very proud. Big thumbs up. So what's what's in the shrines? Um, there's there's the uh, there's four different frescoes. Uh, one shows a uh, each each person is wearing a frog mask. One tosses five coins from her hand as though sowing seeds. One holds a bug up to his open mouth. Uh, one holds a knife in one hand and a headless chicken in the other, and one holds a lit candle. Okay. Oh, do I need to hold all these things? I go over and pick everything up. <laughs> uh, as as you go to uh, grab the lit candle, it, it it feels like it is stuck fast to the shrine. As do the uh, five gold pieces that you oh tossed there. They do not budge. Is that bug crawling around anywhere? Oh. Uh, yeah, there were there were four dead cockroaches on the shrine. Not any one. more cockroaches. Yeah. No, listen, Kenneth. I may be crazy, but I'm not that crazy. He is. I'm not. I heard they're a delicacy in some parts of the world. No. I'm not Rayfield. Redfield. Rayban. Well, I mean, hey, you don't want to—you don't want to hand out the rest of the masks to 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 to, ah, to share the load. So you, you, yeah. you you've got to eat. You've got to eat it. Oh, if you're gonna eat it with me, Al. Okay, I take off the mask and I place it on your face. Okay. Ah, okay. See. Okay. Now, uh, we. I. I think. I Roll think. Up a cheat, Al. Uh, hey, I'll do the bug eating one. That's fine. But I think. I think maybe all four of us. Uh, where's the bug eating? Which 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 one is that? At? Uh, that was uh, bottom right. I, if you're looking at the at the uh, shrine. And I'll go. Um, uh, Steve, things could get real. Uh, 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 and then I'll go. You know what? Actually, I'll take the mask off and I'll put it on Steve, and I'll be like, mm -hmm. Steve, eat the bug. Okay. okay. <laughs> It's like, what's what's the point of having underlings if you're not going to use them? <laughs> uh, Steve waddles over to the shrine, uh, reaches up, scrabbles around to grab a cockroach. Uh, grabs a couple and pops them in his mouth, crunches noisily. All right, now you guys do your thing. Is this All right, now here's the bloodletting one for you, Al. Oh, I get to wear. I get two. Okay, cool. Uh, where's bloodletting? I'll I'll let blood. That's fine. Uh, yeah, the, the the top left shows a young woman in it wearing a frog mask, holds a knife in one hand and a headless chicken in the other. Uh oh. Um, I don't have a head. Oh no. Sorry. I'm gonna Amber. go. I'm gonna go. Hey, um, <laughs> bird, you're a skeleton, right? Rock, Crawford, rock. Um, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this later, and I'm gonna yank the head, the skull off of Crawford. It, uh, as the head comes away from the uh, the rest of the bird uh, bones, crumble in a heap onto the ground. Oh no! 
You killed him. Damn it. Well, okay. This is why you can't have nice things. I'll I'll scoop up all the dust and crumbles into my hand, and I'll reach for an, a, a a dagger or a knife, and I'll mm-hmm. pull I'll pull that out and I'll hold the dust of the bird, and a dagger in my hand. I'll be like like this. Yeah. It's a blood. <laughs> How are you getting blood from a skeleton? Well, I mean, how are you getting blood from this picture? It's just a headless chicken. Uh, there, there is, there is blood spilling out of the neck of the chicken into a, a bowl doctor. on the ground. Okay, f- okay, fine. And I'll take my hand and I'll just go. Fsh. I'm not gonna. I wouldn't ask Uba to do this. I, 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 I we have a jar of unlimited frogs. <laughs> <laughs> It's Were fine. you wearing a frog mask? Was I wearing a frog mask? I gave him one, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me an additional frog mask and said the bloodletting one's for you. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you as you spill uh, blood into the small copper bowl, all of you hear a slight soft click and see the lid of the sarcophagus to the north oh, like creak one. open ever so slightly and that is where we will pick up next time oh this sounds like tentacle fun yeah right thank you everybody for your participation tonight and uh, the audience as well if this is your first time joining us please hit that follow button down at the bottom right hand side of the screen and um oh and we have a new follow uh Sifa Techno. thank you for that follow by the way <laughs> Uh, and, uh, check out, uh, some of our other shows that we have going on this week. Um, as I pull that schedule up here. So, uh, Monday, Star Trek, Beja Rising, Embers of the Past. Uh, tomorrow at 8.30 p.m., Lieutenant Braytor attempts a risky mind meld to reach Lieutenant Reltok under the control of powerful alien minds. Meanwhile, Commander Morgan and First Officer Thorne work to stabilize Lieutenant Commander McLaren after suffering an attack from a powerful from the powerful aliens. Then Tuesday uh, at 7 p.m., Conan adventures an age and dreamed of. Where are we? The party comes into a, a meteor crater around the titanic hand of a deeply buried obsidian statue with a piece of the sleeping god in their hands. But where are they really? Wednesday, Adenia season three. Do we have, uh, do we have any information about, uh, about that? Um, yeah, we, well, I don't have like, like, like a, something written for it, but Hey, it's going to be, it's going to be great. Everybody's <laughs> going to, they're showing up at the forest of green stuffs that's right hey i don't make the names i don't i barely make the rules um uh will the party survive the treacherous puzzle filled maze uh probably um will someone die i don't know who's gonna piss me off next find out wednesday all right and then uh thursday this week we have off but friday uh, we'll return at 6 p.m. for a Cookie Trek, Echoes of Allegiance. Uh, as the fragile balance between peace and conflict with Romulan Empire teeters, the crew delves into the complexities of loyalty and duty amid a high-stakes diplomatic confrontation aboard the USS Fan Service. Come and help tell this story or make an entirely different one this Friday with Simon T. Simon T. Cat and Rufus T. Robot on Cookie Trek. And then join us next week to see the continuation of Tomb of Annihilation. And uh, do do uh, the anybody who serves Aladdin survive? We'll find out. Uh, do we have a raid going? Uh, no. No raid. We were gonna count on you to do that because every time we start, you take it over. Oh yeah, well, I can't talk and do it at the same time though. I can't. I keep. I. I. I keep getting in too late and uh, starting up right when we have to go live, uh, and I keep forgetting that I'm signed out of the um, 
the chat thing. That's okay. Um. Okay, we got something here. I can type. Oops. Hey, and if you're at home watching, for, wait, waiting for this raid, um, yeah. the Buffalo Bills are about to uh, knock the Miami Dolphins down to, I think, like a sixth seed. Um, so that's fun. Ooh. Is that a good thing? Uh, I mean, it's not like a, it's that it's it's funny. It's it's funny because they were like they were like arguably one of the better teams in the AFC all year, and now that they went from uh, the they went from the number one seed a couple of weeks ago to the uh, uh, sixth seed. So there's. So I'm from Iowa. Are these hybrid seeds? Hi hy hybrid seed? No, these these yeah. these are like uh, like like. Um, you know, going and, and, and sowing your wild oats seeds. Oh, okay, because we got some people that come by for rum spring and you got to turn the garden hose on those guys. Oh, I'm the one who controls when we stop. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye, everybody. Bye. Take care.